Hey, this is Brahma Ancient Devlog again. And not long ago, I uploaded a, a new test release of my engine on my IndieDB page for a free download. So you could try it yourself. Make sure that uh, it isn't paper or some kind. It's been an active development, and uh, it's mostly about. It's about uh, creating uh, stuff at the moment, and I just wanted to show some functions, interesting features of the map editor. Mm. Since it, despite being largely incomplete and buggy, has some uh, nice uh, features that can be used for editing maps you previously created for build engine or do engine or make new maps simple maps from scratch if you want to so F8 key uh, allows you to go to editor mode this is the same environment as the game itself so you don't have to switch your tools constantly for play testing or anything that's the game mode, that's the edit mode. The game mode is basically walking around because that's all that works is that floating in water and uh, walking around or flying around it with the jet jetpack mode. The jetpack now works like that. Used uh, page down or page up keys to uh, change surface elevation. The surface is basically floor or ceiling or sector that can be shared across multiple sectors. Technically, it can be the used for entire uh, floor or sky texture. Build maps are imported as they are without such optimizations. So every sector has a for pair of surfaces for floor and ceiling. The same principle applies to slopes. As they can be aligned as you can hear the clicking sound. It means that something has aligned to a nearby surface nearby surface I don't have to tweak them manually all these small discrepancies they can be managed by the engine also the texture itself can be aligned to a slope flip it around F key to flip texture shift F to flip it vertically See the red me for all the hot keys because there are lots of them. This is how it looks. Tab key enters the overhead view. In this view, you can zoom in. In the editor, you can zoom in. Uh, as you zoom in, uh, the map turns into a microscope, and uh, magnification is displayed instead of scale. It's quite buggy, but it can be used for some really small stuff, stuff like uh, sub-millimeter range sectors. Yeah. Size is labeled in millimeters, they are not units, they are millimeters, like in drafts or blueprints. Some really, really microscopic stuff, like yeah, sizes are not labeled. Hold shift to uh, snap angles. 
definitely the small sector, but use this feature with caution. Yes, it's incomplete at the moment. Where is our sector? We have to zoom in to uh, find it. Or become smaller. So you can be, uh, be smaller than you are. And normally, you can use this for edit functions. also become smaller and if you resize yourself this way you can make really Right, or a thing uh, like doing things, uh, it's mostly similar to Doom Builder. Just expect it to feel like Doom Builder in many ways, rather than Mapster 32 or Build Engine Editor. Well, everything has a whisker, you can drag it. anything to rotate or drag anything to move it around. This is the medikit and this is scepter factor and this is invisible normally but as you touch it it becomes uh, visible uh, and the key to or anything home key make it more ceiling clean to floor ceiling using the home end key so it's pretty intuitive as well textures can be rotated and resized freely on both floors walls surfaces there use the same principle of texture mapping and for surfaces they exist uh, there exist uh, absolute and local texture coordinates local is like relative to the pivot point wall wall pivot wall can be any wall in the map so unlike the build engine you don't have to you're not restricted to first wall in the sector the pilot can be any wall in the map for any sector so now we can make this wall the first wall or the pilot wall for all of these sectors using control F key Keys can be used. Uh, you can see all the keyboard shortcuts in the README file. There are lots of them. There are lots of keys, but the interface is uh, yet to be uh, uh, become actually graphical because the graphical interface in the progress. Uh, the wiki all opens the texture browser, which is basically uh, the graphics and sounds editor, VHS edit. Now that it is connected to the uh, map editor, I'm looking uh, 
into making the map editor in the texture graphics editor into the same workspace there are different alignment flags for walls now the uh, pilot, pilot is located here you can move the pilot Various options like bottom edge. Now this part is uh, aligned here. And this part is aligned here. Press O key here to split, disable split. So both parts now aligned to the same point that is here. Now. So I'm here and use P key to P it means aligned to opposite surface. So now it's aligned here or here. So you can align to anything. Shift O makes uh, the texture to align to the right pole instead of left pole, and the pole is is a point basically the pole appears like a vertex from above and actually it's a pole that is stretched vertically indefinitely and the line line uh, lines are also implicit structures that are simply collections of walls that are connected to each other you can see which wall belongs to which sector Brightness is an ampad plus minus is you can use any vast or high dynamic range uh, brightness values down here. You see the low light noise and Bokini effect or glare at the high levels of brightness. This is managed by the engine automatically. Here, the voxels don't produce glare yet, but if you make it flat here, it will produce glare that is colored according to the texture. The color lighting has been modified a bit. Our palettes are the palette 5 is brown and palette 3 is kind of yellowish brown beige color. This uh, allows for more options for color light. Basically here it is and another interesting function is that all the loading is done in background meaning that maps are loaded without any delays and if you see the performance graph you can simply um, jump through the levels into a game and you don't see delays at all at all because maps are loaded in background no matter how large the map is it will be loaded in background so I'm 
going to record uh, capture and upload some more stuff covering more interesting features of the engine and editing functions so stay tuned for more stuff for now have a nice one fee and, and uh, well I'll be happy for the engine to be used for something so feel free to share think about these perspectives and see you next time